Hello and hi and welcome to this little tutorial I'm gonna teach you uh, for for a bit of a prelude. Uh, I've been making a, a fighting game for a while and I haven't finished it yet. Uh, there's a lot of elements that go into making a video game that one single person might have a difficulty tackling. Uh, there, there's uh, graphics, there's coding, there's sound effects and, and voice and there's music uh, so so I designed this this video to to teach you a way that you can make the music to your game or whatever project you might have without uh, uh, without having to learn like uh, music theory or whatever or how to compose music yourself which might take a lot of time and and it's it's not something that that you just want to do for for frankly like seven songs that you're gonna add to a game uh, and you know ideally you would hire like like a, somebody that can make music but maybe you're 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 right you're not in in that budget zone where you can pay people to do things I know I'm not so so here's a little trick that you can do to make music without knowing anything about making music and without paying anybody and maybe you won't even have to get out of your browser okay so let's go the first thing you want to do is you want to go to muse.net open AI All right. hold on open AI.com slash news net. Is that what it's called? Let me just copy the address from here. Yeah. I'm gonna put the address in the in the screen so you can so you can know without having to listen to me try to to word guess it. Right, this is this is an AI project uh, created by some some people. I don't know who them, and I don't know what they want. I don't know how they're they're planning to make money out of this. The, I think they're they're like brain scientists or whatever. I don't know. The point is, they make this the system where uh, it uh, automatically guesses where a music would go if we were to go in any direction. For example. You have uh, the default is uh, Chopin, Chopin style uh, version of a Mozart song, and essentially you see these these little squares here. These are the notes of the song. I should have played that before I. Yeah. See? Basically takes a known song and continues it on. Right. What you wanna do with this, you show advanced options and you can upload an MIDI file. Uh, I always call them MIDI's. I, I don't know if uh, some people call it MIDI. Some people might call them MIDI. I call them MIDI. It's easy. So you take uh, a MIDI file and you can upload it. In our case, we're gonna use this famous song that I got from from a website. This is just for an example. You know, take it here. Oh, sorry.
that's the song. Uh, this is uh, a famous uh, rock song by, uh, I think it was for the Smokey and the Bandit soundtrack. It was called like Smoke in the Water. It's from the scene where Smokey and in the Bandits fall into some water. And that's why they call it that. But uh, regardless, uh, you have your MIDI, right? You can use a uh, MIDI as long as you want. But it helps to make it a, a smaller MIDI. I, I tend to choose smaller MIDIs. And later I will show you how to use MIDIs that won't get you sued and demonetized. Like maybe this video was potentially by the time you're hearing it. Right, so you choose the MIDI. <clears throat> it takes a little bit of time to load. And now you can listen to it here in the in the website. It doesn't acknowledge the, the fade out, I guess. So that, that's good. We like that, actually. Right, so you can choose the style to which you want to, to turn it. Uh, the more similar the style is to the original song, the more likely it is to, to make a reasonable follow-up to it. Uh, I choose video games because I, I'm a huge nerd for video games. That's what I like, video games. So, right, we take these famous chords and we tell it follow-up on them. Right, and it like uses its AI magic to magically continue on that song. Right, it takes a little bit of time. Uh, yeah, th there's gonna be a lot of, of MIDI resources in your uh. In the description hopefully if I do it right if I don't then I'm sorry but there's a lot of way to get me this but I'm gonna show you the the best way to get a MIDI that that's so original that that mr. purple can't come back and sue you because of you using his his like four chords uh, I don't wanna I don't wanna change the screens because I don't wanna get distracted. I get distracted easily. In fact this is right now distracting me from the fact that I'm supposed to be getting ready for a for a night in the town. Right. So without hearing the whole thing you can just skip right to this part that it added. Right here. Uh yes. Now it gives you four options here, you can see, you can change to each possible variant. In this case they're all very similar. Uh, I think. And this one. It's basically using using AI logic to assume that the song would continue to go in, in the direction that it seems to be going, which is just doing those chords over and over and over and over again. So you keep adding more to it, and the more you add to it, the the more different the song comes out. Uh, I don't want to spend an hour just doing that until a different song comes out, so let's just say that I did it for an hour or two, and then the song comes out, and it's something... 
like this one that I already did based on that song. If at any point you don't like the way the song is going, you can choose these uh, refresher arrows to restart uh, the process. In this particular point, right, it will redo it all over again and you will get to choose the four songs. I'm not going to do it right now because I like this one and I want to expand on it later. But but as you can see, you got, you got a, a whole song going right here, right? So what do you do? You have these options down here, download. You can download it into mp3, ogg, wav, and midi file. And in our case, for our purposes, we want to download it as a midi file, right? Because that way we can not only put it in another program and, and make changes to it, to the notes, but you can also just put it right back in here in, in Musenet and be like, no, continue, you know. You should do that often because sometimes, uh, you know, stuff crashes, especially in my case. I have a browser that, that's always, like, closing up on me to save battery, I guess, and, and it's hard to, to give anything in the screen consistently. So, you want to save often if you want, if you like the way a song is going, and that way you can just climb it right back up into MuseNet uh, and start it all over again. And we already have... We call it our smoking water, so I just gonna call it smoking water too. No wait, to smoke, to water. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. We are adults, and yeah, that's about it. But wait a minute, what if you want to make a song that's original and? Not based on an existing MIDI file, based on an existing song, because you know there's some ethical concerns. You some might think that you're plagiarizing the song by putting it in an AI program. Now just continue it, or or maybe you think that because these MIDIs don't aren't made by, you know, they're they're made by people and they might say, hey, you're taking my MIDI, my effort into transcribing smoke in the water. And just turning it into a song for you, for your game. And, and I don't like that. And maybe they don't want like that. Maybe they'll sue you. Maybe they won't. Maybe they'll call you out. Maybe they'll, they'll put you on blast on the Twitter. So you want to make uh, this idea. But with less risk. You want to go to Wolf. Tram tones. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Uh, Wolfram tones. Go on faster. All right, Wolfram tones is is a website. From 2005, it says here, so that's like 16 years. Yeah, 16 years, and you can just automatically uh, you can just touch these buttons, and it will create a small. <laughs> If you 
see it again. So it it's it basically generates a a song a, a small MIDI procedurally. You can just get a song in here, and it, it's fairly good because there there's there's other programs that create uh, MIDI's uh, automatically. Uh, I'm gonna link them in the description because I don't remember the exact name. And there, there's a program. It's called. CG music uh, and it can generate music in this way uh, but but the songs came out very come out very samey you know they're, they're very samey you know it, and if you if you use that I mean if I use that uh, people will recognize where it's from and, and you know it it might lead to I mean, a little bit of embarrassment. No, not a lot, but a little bit. So what are we going to do? We're going to find the song that we like, and we're going to do this process all over again. <laughs> purposes we're gonna choose this song right here and we're gonna download it as MIDI uh -huh. I'm gonna call this guitarita mm -hmm. and then we go here to uh, MuseNet open it up again if you upload a new MIDI, it will just undo what you were doing, so be mindful of that. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna do this process a thousand times. Uh, um, when we come back, we'll have a full song ready, hopefully. Right, so I'm back, and uh, it's been like 20 minutes. Let's see what the song that we were cooking up looks like about now. Right, so uh, you you can also talk with these options. Uh, you can suggest it that it add uh, more instruments, but it doesn't always. Uh, the the disclaimer itself says that it's only like suggesting it. So in my case, it didn't choose to add any of these instruments. I'm just kept on with with the guitar. Uh, you can also toy with this uh, right here, this slider. I think generally uh, making it go higher makes makes the the parts of the song that it takes uh, wider. Uh, you know, you can toy with that and. Uh, 
that is uh the 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 essence of this uh with this uh you can create uh what what we could describe as uh your own uh custom midis midi files that that you can use in in your games and they're not like existing songs and you can just convert them to mp3 or or whatever you like and and have that be the original music uh, of your game uh, uh. right you see because I added this later up it added more song to it so right so we save these to MIDI that also takes time we're gonna change the name of this to Guitarrita full on right but wait a minute uh, we just should listen to this on the browser really Wait a minute, that sucks! It's a MIDI, it's not meant to be like uh with quality instruments, it's supposed to be small a small transcribing of the notes. But we want we want better for our games, don't we? We want the, the quality to be higher. So we're gonna go to and I should have opened this in the browser beforehand. Right, uh, the, uh it was the website I was in all along. So uh, it's gonna show up on the screen now uh, what this website is, but uh, you can without having to download a program. I have a program, but but maybe you you want it more simple. Uh, this program we can upload uh, our MIDI and change the instruments to these sound fonts that sound better than what we have. Uh, we're gonna choose Final Fantasy VII and hope it works. Uh, there's several options here that I don't want to deal with. Uh, what even is this? Uh, we choose full length. We don't want to add this to the MIDI database. And we choose upload and convert. Uh, let's see how we came out. It sounds completely different than the than the original song, as you can hear it. Because it's using a, a, a less simple sound font, using a less simple sound font, and and it, it can it can already the difference can be heard. And just choose here to download it. Not like not like what I did. You, you just click on it, and it'll take you to, to downloading it. You download the SMP3 and there you go. It's a couple of seconds but then there you go.
you save it and that's it, that's your song. There's there's more things that you can do and you can learn. Uh, personally, I like to, for example, in the case of the Smoke in the Water uh, song that we created, what I would do is I would go to, uh, I would import it into FL Studio, which is, is it's not uh, free, but, but it's uh, the demo version allows you to save uh, MP3s. Uh, and, and MIDI files so you can edit MIDI files in it and since um, I just take the song right here you put it in this thingy make do need to do that's bad for me I don't know why the notes aren't showing. Oh yeah, here it is. That's the notes. Alright, what we wanna do with this is you wanna find the parts that are that are under copyright and you wanna cut them out. So you're like go like this. the part that sounded a lot like smoke in the water so even if if Johnny smoke in the water comes and sees you you can say no it's not in the song my song this is an original song that only slightly sounds like smoke in the water MIDI file, you can be like full on guitarita, legal, right? Potential warning about this, you're saving it, uh, a version of it that it has been cut, but if somebody would open this MIDI again, they would just be able to do like the opposite to this and then find out that you were smoking in the water so if you want to do that and, and not get caught uh, you know don't share the MIDI with people because they will they will see this uh, there's other way to edit MIDI to make it shorter uh, this is the way I use because I've been using FL Studio poorly for over 20 years so 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 that's what I'm comfortable with 
uh, there's I think there's online editors I haven't been able to to find one that that that's good enough for me but either way that that's that's what you can do uh, with with uh, MIDI files and, and some different programs that are online and, and offline to to make original music uh, online uh, uh, tell me in the comments what what song would you make a fake version of, and and I will tell you how sued you should be. <laughs> well, anyway, see you guys uh, and and thank you for watching.